So now we're moving on to slightly more difficult problems, though honestly, they're very similar. So I'm going to rewrite this, 2x squared minus 50. And for some of these, you might be able to factor before you try and factor as a difference of two squares. Or in other words, you might be able to do what I call simple factoring, or looking for the greatest common factor of the two terms. So they don't have x's in them. Well, this one does, but this one doesn't. So you can't factor out an x, but they are each divisible by 2. So I'm going to pull a 2 out since that's the greatest common factor of these both. And here you're left with x squared, and 50 divided by 2 would be 25. And now you can see you have two squares. So 2 times x squared minus 5 squared. And again, it's when we factor this into its two binomials, it's going to be the first one minus the second one. So x minus 5, and then the first one plus the second one, x plus 5. And so this will be our final answer, though to know for sure, you just have to re-multiply it out. So do the parentheses terms first, and then at the very end, you can double it. So these x minus 5, x plus 5, you will see that they come back to x squared minus 25. And then when you double it, you get back what you started with. So on to another problem. And let me just rewrite this as 28 minus 7 squared. We're again going to see if we can do simple factoring first. And the greatest common factor of these, numerically, is 7. So we'll pull a 7 out, and we're left with 4 minus x squared. And this is a difference of 2 squares. So you have 7 times 2 squared minus x squared. And we can factor this into our two binomial terms. And it's the first one minus the second one. And then the first one plus the second one. So again, you want to re-multiply these out, double check your work, but you will see that it does simplify to this 28 minus 7x squared once everything is multiplied out. Since these would give you 4 minus x squared, and then you just multiply everything by 7. And we have two more to finish. So 16 minus 49x squared, this one's a little bit harder. Because we need to ask ourselves, can we do any simple factoring? And you'll see that, no, you can't. There's no greatest common factor between these. And then the next question you should ask is, what two numbers are squared here? Like 16 is really just 4 squared. And for this one, it's more complicated because you have the variable term and the numerical part. So 49 is really just 7 squared times by this x squared. And... Honestly, it's probably easier to see it if you rewrote it in parentheses that this is 7x squared. So you do have a difference of two squares. This one's just a little bit harder to see. But if you think about it numerically and with your variables separately and then just combine them at the end, it hopefully won't be too bad. Now, remember, it's a, minus, a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. So a in this case we'll say is 4, and b in this case is 7x, since it's that whole thing, that whole 7x that's squared. So then it's the first one, which is 4, minus the second one, 7x, and then it's the first one plus the second one, 7x. So let's check this one when we re-multiply it. So let me just mark that. We're just checking here. 4 and 4 make 16. 4 and 7x make 28x, minus 7x and 4 make minus 28x, and minus 7x and 7x, well the 7 times 7 would be minus 49, since one of them is negative, and x and x make x squared. You can see that the middle terms cancel out, and you do get back 16 minus 49x squared, which means you can feel good that this is in fact the right answer. And let's do one final problem, just to make sure we fully understand this. So again, I'm going to rewrite it over here. Let me just draw a barrier with the top one. So you get 49x squared minus 9. There is no greatest common factor, so we're just going to ask ourselves which numbers are squared here. And this, from the previous problem, we know this is just 7x squared. And 9 is really just 3 squared. So a in this case is 7x, and b is 3. So we factor this into its two binomials multiplied together. First one minus second one, so 7x minus 3. 
and the first one plus the second one. Now you can multiply these out to check, but you will see that they do simplify to this 49x squared minus 9. So you can feel confident that this is, in fact, the right answer.